Hello and welcome back to XCOM Chimera Squad. My name is Saiken and we are playing on Iron Man Impossible difficulty with hardcore mode enabled. Uh, hardest difficulty, one save, and if you are losing a single mission, you are done, my friend. So this is how we roll, and it's time for some essential personal, uh, an, uh, an interesting mission that we have selected the last time that will help us uh, to further improve our research. The improved field teams are super helpful, uh, and as long as we're getting enough intel, we can upgrade them very, very fast. So without further ado, let's uh, take a look at our team. Uh, we got terminal back, which is really ple uh, pleasant. Um, having her is helpful. We, by the way, got the expanded magazine, and I feel that uh, this is uh, the perfect option for our damage dealer to have even one more uh, shot. It's great. Um, so, blue blood. is a very nicely modified gun now. It's time for us to soon upgrade the pistols, I feel. And submachine guns would be the next in line uh, prior to assault rifles. Good, we got our team uh, set up, two projected encounters, and we got a keypad, which is perfect because terminal can hack it. We got vents, which is not so perfect because we can't use our Viper. We don't have that um, operative yet. Definitely here. Here we go again. So we're definitely surprising in this time. Last unit will get an extra action point. Well, then the last unit is going to be Blue Blood. That's not a question because he can take an additional shot. We're going in as a team. Um, let us take our typical order and breach. We surprised everyone, and boy oh boy, we got some really nice uh, picks. So got an Arcolite, got a Bruiser, a Resonant, a Thrall, and a Sorcerer. Now, the Sorcerer is nasty, but I uh, I learned at the beginning I was always targeting them, and they do have a couple of abilities to um, to connect themselves with others and sacrifice them and basically drain uh, drain their life out. I just learned to simply ignore them, as once they have used their abilities, they have quite long cooldowns on all of their mental abilities. And thus, if you take out all of the other psychers, such as the Archolites, you're usually okay. There you go, Archolite down. Next up, let's deal with a Resonant. I would probably say let's deal with a Resonant and hope we can get him down. That would be awesome. Damn it. Missed that shot. All right. Problem is he, his side domain indeed makes everyone a bit stronger. Including the sorceress. Okay. So. Well, let's take out the revenant. I mean, we could go for the thrall. Deal with the resonant a bit later. Hmm. Nah, you know, let's kill him right away. Good. Kinetic shield because shelter is gonna go in. And we can start hitting the uh, the thrall. The guard ability gives us extra defense, so he's now in full cover. Plus, uh, has his uh, extra armor, which is great. So we got the bruiser over here. Oh, 
Could deal with the sorceress. It's probably not the worst idea. Let's try that. Because blue blood can kill her in one go. And let's move into cover plus subdue this guy. Easy. Still into full cover, my friend. That's not a clever idea. Does this end the turn? No, it does not. And let's try that for once. Hell yeah! Uh, that's probably a really good ability. Now that I see it does not end the turn and it pushes her down all the way. Ah, luckily I tried the additional ability. I mean the sustenance was a great ability, don't get me wrong. Uh, because you have seen at the beginning of the game you're easy to be taken out. But let me say it that way, as the game continues, when you do have heavier armor and you do get the kinetic shields um, and you, you got medkits on everyone... Uh, and uh, actual armor plates uh, and modified armor. It is very difficult uh, due to the nature of the timeline here to get alpha strike and simply die. Normally you can do something about it, uh, which means I am not that afraid about um, actually going down as time goes by. I mean, look at Terminal's hit points, right? She she got with the plus two hit points from training and then armor comes on top of, top of it. So you're becoming very tanky very soon. This here, however, is great. Any form of manipulation of the timeline uh, definitely has my full attention. It's a pretty, pretty good ability. Good. Blue blood. What the actual heck? Alright. That was shit. Uh, you know that, hopefully. Okay, classical XCOM. Twice in a row. He's just... He's just not hitting. Uh, kinetic shielding ourselves. Because I feel like it. Okay, she's still not down. My oh my. Yeah, you know. Safest bet here is to get the evidence. There we go. That's the bonus objective. And let's set him up. Nice little crit. Works like a charm. That's the kinetic shield. Yeah, and we couldn't really do anything about the sorcerers. Not with that many misses. We won't forget you. Holy. Five points of damage, that's pretty dreadful. Oh, that included life leech. I haven't seen her leeching off of that ability in the past. Interesting. Luckily, we can heal most of the damage back. There we go. Now, let us hunker down for now. Because I still want to get full hit points. We should be fine. Worst thing that he can do 
it's taking a shot at us. And that really doesn't mean much. I have to reload. Because we have all of our characters covered. Thanks to Kinetic Shield, nothing's happening. We're now going to heal up and take out the Bruiser. Oh, he critted with that. Holy moly. Well, so much for healing up. I could have just healed up. One hit point down. Anyways, so someone could go through the vents here, but we're simply storming in. Let's heal. There we go. We're healing before breaching. And we got fa uh, phalanx, so it shouldn't be a problem. Good, we only got one enemy that could actually hit us, which is the Resonant. Might as well take Phalanx here. We got a Thrall, we got another Sorcerer, a Bruiser, a Resonant, and a Trooper. You know, the Trooper stinks, but uh, he's too hard to hit. Might as well just go with a Thrall and take a couple of secured hits. The Sorcerer only has 44% uh, chance of being hit. Might as well take, uh, taking the Resonant, who had 40% chance of being hit. Trooper over there. Let's start with the Resonant. He can buff up the Sorcerer, and I don't want that. I mean, he will buff up the Sorcerer. Which will make it bad enough. Yeah, these links that you see, the Soul Links, essentially mean that if you were to attack the Sorcerer first, she can simply kill the Thrall. Okay, so let's pull up blue blood. Great. Look like a charm. Unfortunately, we can't hit two of the, them. Elsewise, I would argue that charging in would actually be worth it. Kinetic shielding ourselves. And let's start moving in. I'm not afraid that we are uh, lacking cover. It's only three enemies. We got a kinetic shield. Yeah, I think we're fine. I made the arrest. Perfect. That was helpful. I can't see a chance where we could um, hit her and actually take her out. I don't know, I mean, the almost 50% crit chance are intriguing. Let's try to get her. That'll kill the Thrall. There we go, that's the 10 damage that I was talking about. But we still could continue harassing her. Other option is getting the re uh, Resonant off of uh, the table. Yeah, let's go with the Resonant. Come on. Ah, didn't work out. She had too many uh, hit points anyways. I 
I usually tend to focus her last. Yeah, that does really mean nothing for us. So if we were to try to hit him, that would be a solid chance. Let's move down the bruiser. Yeah, pinning down the bruiser. That's fine. And we might be able to take out the resonant. Very good. Time to go for the Arcolite next. The Arcolite, with his soul uh, bolt, ignores our, um, ignores cover completely. So it is actually a good idea having him within our ranks because it makes it so much easier for us to actually hit him. We don't want to deal with um, any of uh, these shenanigans. So let's instead overwatch here. So once the bruiser moves, which I pretty uh, surely think uh, he will do, we could actually take a shot. Sorceress take, um, cast Tyranny on him. And that soul fire luckily just hits the shield. Perfect. Should have triggered Overwatch. This should have triggered Overwatch. I'm not sure what happened. Alright, we can't reach it with just one movement. Which means we're not shielding this turn, but instead move in here. I really want to hit both of them. 10 damage is... Or 8 damage is too good to pass by. Okay. That did not work out. Come on. Thank you. We're ignoring the sorceress for now. Like I said, if we just kill everyone else, we're gonna be fine. She heavily relies with her abilities like tyranny, which is a a pretty strong buff uh, for um, the unit that she's selecting. She very he heavily relies on uh, the actual selection um, of an enemy unit. And if you take all of the units away, then there's nothing that she can do. Or not much. Reinforcements are incoming soon. Since she's going to teleport very soon, and since I want to get out of here next turn, might as well teleport. That way we can extract everyone next turn. Sorcerer ran out of cooldowns. And time for us to leave the scene. This thing is nearly empty. On the run. Safeguarding for a small to hit uh, um, armor bonus. 
just in case when if we're not making it out of here and if we stay for one more round it'll be helpful all right let's say we were theoretically gunned down now we would still be successful with the mission um, because the last person on the ground does not need to be stabilized. I had that in one of my uh, missions. And it seems that the game is again not 100% liking the situation. I don't know what's wrong with the reinforcements mechanic here. But it seems we're on the verge of crashing again. <sighs> Let me just restart that. All right, and we're back again. Something seems to be messed up. I don't know what it is. I hope it will not continue because the reinforcements are actually a really fun mechanic and it would be making the run too easy if that wouldn't work. I mean, we, we won anyway, so that hasn't changed the outcome of the mission, but still. We got six enemies captured, so we got our 20 intel and uh, finished the mission successful. That's good. Every single mission so far, we got our 20 intel, so we're on a roll here. Good. Got 30 Illyrium, 20 intel, two days uh, towards our research project. That was a really solid mission. And we got a promotion on top of it. All right. So we got our next research project and we're looking at uh, the situation where we really need some progress towards enhanced weapon uh, weaponry. And as you can see, the research projects are getting longer. We got no active personnel on it. Ah, we're still waiting for that one more personnel. I don't want to compromise on the um, on the spec ops uh, as well. Managing your resources at the beginning is very important. Uh, so I really like where the the speed of how we're generating resources. Um, I think we're just going to start without without the help of uh, of an agent. It'll take some more time, six turns to be precise. An agent would half that. So we're losing some research uh, time here. Could go for weapon optics, but we're not in the dire need of uh, that. And I'm not a big fan of really researching something that we're not using afterwards. Let's go with the pistols. We got a promotion. And we got a psionic blast that disorientates all enemy near the breach point. Targeted enemy is disoriented for an extra turn. So it's never, never bad. It's a good ability that he can use on top of it. Making breaches easier. I like it. Um, and that's really it. Uh, we still are going on with the training. The basic conditioning for Verge is happening. Once he's done with that, I think we're continuing with mental preparation. Still got two more of our um, agents from the main team, um, Blue Blood um, and Trench, uh, who could use basic uh, training. So that'll be helpful. And then our team is quote unquote fully trained and can continue leveling up, which is great. So let's take a look at what else is on the line. We got not enough intel to upgrade and we got a passive mission next. It 
Delirium Smugglers for 45 um, Intel, which isn't bad. We could contact the scavenger market again. Um, I like the scavenger market, but there's an opportunity cost, so we could uh, might as well get resources in the meantime. And the scavenger market costs us intel, which we currently don't have. I really want to build up the city first. The scavenger market is great, but scavenger markets uh, just makes the missions easier. It will not help you on the strategic layer. Uh, so I tend to push it back a bit. And we got 30 Alarium, which I think we should go for to keep a steady flow of Alarium and essentially help us to uh, be able to research all of the weapons um, relatively fast. So that's good. Uh, I guess we are going with uh, the Alarum here as a decision. All right, here we go. Good. Good. We got, uh, after the training, we now got uh, Verge uh, upgraded. I still want to get rid of his Psy uh, disadvantage. Uh, it's just not good. A lot of his abilities rely on being strong in psionic abilities. So uh, let's make sure that he remains strong. We got quite a bit of unrest that is happening here. Um, and we will probably also accumulate our first anarchy in the run. Uh, we got enough Alarium. And what are our options? We really um, do have an option to reduce unrest here and get Intel. So I already like that. Uh, would mean this Riverside uh, portion of the city is completely free of unrest. Uh, the alternative is a scope, which is meh. It's okay, but definitely not as good as uh, reducing 4 unrest and 45 intel. The 45 intel will help us to get even more um, field teams out there. I think one more day until our spec op is done. So we would get um, another 60 intel, which is perfect. That's exactly what we were looking for. So soon to uh, two additional uh, influxes of Intel will come in with the mission here and our covert ops mission. And that would mean we can uh, then upgrade some of uh, the teams. By the way, since we do have rank two now, what we could do is we once we upgrade, you can see uh, missions uh, also get bonuses. Uh, so in this case, uh, if I was to upgrade the mission here, plus five Intel income, but plus 20 Intel bonus reward for any mission in the district. So usually what I do is uh, once I populate the entire city uh, with um, field teams, I tend to uh, upgrade uh, the field team in the actual area where I want to do a mission. Uh, that way you uh, can get even some more intel or money out of it. So it's a nifty little um, yeah, optimization to make sure that, that you get the most out of the field teams. We would need to have a field team at rank 3 in order to um, uh, to get uh, the dragnet and uh, this year really requires a field team in every uh, in every uh, district. So the Dragnet uh, gives you a free reward without actually doing a mission. I think it works only on the uh, blue missions though. Um, the uh, major crime task force reduces city anarchy, but has a long cooldown. Um, it's not needed yet where, where we don't even have anarchy. Good. So next up, we will do the Riverside mission and uh, yeah hopefully crush it again thank you for watching as always uh, i enjoyed it if you liked it as well leave a comment uh, down below and uh, maybe consider popping the like uh, like button for now see you in the next run guys bye bye